Hey everyone, it's me, Rylan. Um, it's December 5th, 2018 at um, 11 in the morning. It's like 11.06. Um, I just wanted to say hi to all my new subscribers and all of my old friends. Um, for some reason, I've gotten an influx of new subscribers. I don't know why, because I haven't made any new videos in hot minute like not like too long or anything but I just wanted to say hi and quickly introduce myself um my name is Rylan and I live in New York um I'm a professional actor and I identify as a gender fluid human being um simply meaning that I identify as both male and female female <laughs> I identify <laughs> that could be such an offensive term to someone. Uh, I identify as both male and female. Um, so I mean, I guess that could work for me, but no. Um, yes, I identify as both. Um, so yeah, a little bit about my journey because today I wanted to talk about, um, I got a really great question on one of my posts um, that I made on um, a Facebook group about my journey of being a year and six months off of tea um, and how fucking mind-blowing uh, my face looks so far apart. Like, it literally looks... Like, two different people. It's absolutely crazy. Um, if I can find my phone in the next two seconds, I'll show you. And if I can't, then who cares? Dee, 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 dee. Yeah, I don't care. Um, but it's crazy because it looks like two different people. So I just, like, wrote a post um, basically describing how, like, beautiful gender is and, and how I at this point in my transition, you know, after having top surgery and going from identifying as FTM for two years, I'll be out as trans in four years in January, how I don't care how people perceive me. My intention is not to pass as any gender. Like I am me. I don't care how you read me. Like I'm just living my best life. You know what I mean? But someone asked me, do you experience dysphoria? And I thought that was a really interesting question, and I had been thinking, like, I kind of want to make a video, but I don't, I don't have anything to say, and I'm not going to make a video for video's sake, because, like, who wants to watch that? Um, but I wanted to address that. Um, so my answer is, is yes, but mostly no. I don't experience straight out dysphoria in the way that I used to. And even then my dysphoria wasn't bad. So like before when I identified as FTM, I never struggled with bottom dysphoria. And if I did, it was maybe for like three months and then it wasn't a big deal. And like I said, I identified as FTM for about two years. I was on testosterone for two years, transitioned, I stopped taking tea on April 25th, 2016, and like I said, I've been off of tea for now a year and six months. So I did, like, the whole shebang. Top surgery, hormones, changed my legal name, changed my gender marker, everything. Everything you're supposed to do to transition. Fuck that. There's no way to transition. There's no way to be trans. Like, get that bullshit narrative out of here um but yeah I did all the right things um but yeah I didn't struggle with bottom uh dysphoria but I did I did have uh some chest dysphoria which obviously like led me to have top surgery um but even when I had uh like chest dysphoria I never like really wore binders because I found them so like uncomfortable and restrictive and with the work that I did like what I was a server so like a waiter at a restaurant like it was so restrictive and I would always be like sweating that like I just 
really wasn't able to perform the functions of my job, so I just kind of had to wear sports bras. Um, and now, like, I fucking love wearing, like, tight dresses or, like, low dresses or, like, button-down shirts, like, button-down low. Like, I love that. I love that feeling of, like, freedom and being able to just, like, not even, like, as, like, necessarily like oh I'm expressing my gender but just like as a way to feel comfortable in my body like that's to me that's really beautiful and I guess that is like an express an expression of my gender so in that way I don't feel dysphoric about my chest anymore um the only thing that now I feel dysphoric about is Sometimes, like, my facial hair, I feel, the way that I put it is, like, my facial hair, I can feel dysphoric for, like, my feminine side. So, if I'm kind of going through, because sometimes it'll go, like, day by day. Sometimes it'll be, like, weeks. Sometimes it'll go through month-long stages. Like, recently, it's been probably, like, a month-long stretch. Like, I don't know if you can see this, but, like, I have a mustache going on. I've had like a month long stretch of just like presenting in a more androgynous, like masculine way where in the past, if I was feeling more femme, like this would make me completely uncomfortable and I would not want this in my face. And I can give that as a reference because when I was first coming out as gender fluid, um, like two two winters ago, so it's been almost two years, because my gender journey has been four years now, two years FTM, two years gender fluid, um, I was dysphoric for, like, my, my female side was dysphoric, um, so it's, like, a really kind of confusing concept to wrap one's mind around, and maybe you're sitting there, and you're, like, you know, and you don't get it, which is fine because it's my journey and not yours. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that both sides of my identity can essentially feel dysphoric against the other, but it's not really that common. I mean, usually I don't have a mustache. I mean, like point blank, like I just usually, I don't have a mustache. I just like have gotten lazy and haven't shaved it, but I also, like, don't mind the way that it looks, and I, like, I don't have any auditions coming up where I have to present as a female. As soon as I do, like, I'm gonna have to shave, but, like, I haven't had to be on camera. Like, all of my work has been voiceover work, so it hasn't, like, mattered. Um, so yes, thank you to the person that asked that question, um, it was a very intelligent question. So, yeah, um, I hope you guys all have an amazing day, and thank you so much for watching my video, and, uh, yeah, if you watch this whole thing, grab yourself a cookie, because you're fucking amazing, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise, and that includes yourself. Don't let your brain convince you otherwise. You're an amazing human being, so have a great day, you guys. Bye.